Welcome guys, welcome to my YouTube channel and in this video I'm going to talk about 10 mistakes which you should avoid to get your visa easily. In the last few months I have met so many people who did mistakes when it came to their visa interview. The first mistake which people usually do is they say that after the graduation they want to settle down in the country. So for example if the interviewer asks you what are your plans after your studies. So never say that you want to stay back in the country or you want to settle down. Just say you'll go back to your own country after your studies. The second mistake which people usually do is they give wrong answers. For example, if the interviewer is asking you some question and if you don't know the correct answer to the question, so just simply say that, I'm sorry, I don't know the answer. You don't have to just keep thinking or like, mm, mm. so please don't do that, no. The third mistake which people usually do is they give indirect answers to the question. For example, if the interviewer is asking you where will you stay in the country, then you, you should not tell indirect answers like um, two years ago I was living in my relative's house, in my uncle's house, so maybe I'll live there or I, maybe I'll live in the dormitory. No, just give straight simple answer that you live with your family or you live in your school dormitory or you can say you have a plan to rent an apartment so you should just give them direct and straight answer you should not take very long pause or think a lot about the answers the fourth mistake is no direct answers to who is sponsoring you for example if the interviewer is asking you who's gonna sponsor you so you should clearly state that my parents are sponsoring me or i'm sponsoring myself or i have got a scholarship as simple as that you should not make stories or keep moving around with the question just give simple answers the fifth mistake is incomplete documents i've seen so many people who go to the visa interview and they don't even carry all the required documents so never do that so just carry each and every document that is mentioned in the visa checklist and even carry some more documents it's always good to carry even more documents than carrying less document i hope it makes sense the sixth mistake is not well dressed Yes, I have seen so many students who go to a visa interview and they are not even well dressed. I'm not telling you to wear all the formal clothes, but at least dress neat and be well represented. It will create a good impression in the eye of the interviewers. My personal experience when I had my visa interview, I was wearing formal clothes. I was not wearing tie, but I was wearing formal shirt and formal trousers and formal shoes. Please make sure you dress neat. The seventh mistake is bad history. By bad history, I mean please make sure you don't have any criminal records on your name and also if you have, so if the interviewer is asking you something regarding it, just make sure you tell them the straight answer and tell them yes, I did it and I'm trying to improve myself each and every day. So the eighth mistake which I feel people usually do is they are late, they are not on time. Yeah. So if you go to the embassy very late and you're not on time, so it creates a very bad impression about you about you that you're not punctual and you don't care much so yeah please make sure you go to the embassy even before 13 minutes before your interview the ninth mistake which people usually do is never disagree with the interviewer for example if he's asking you some question so don't disagree with him or say ah oh, no i didn't didn't do it or oh no it's incorrect or he'll ask you the questions regarding your documents or whatever you are providing so it has to be true, right? Just don't disagree with him. The last but not the least, the 10th mistake which I feel people do is interrupting the interviewer. Yes. For example, if the interviewer is asking you some question and if you know the answer already or you know what he's going to ask, so just don't jump into the answer right away and don't interrupt him because it creates a very bad impression about you that you don't have even basic moral ethics that you should listen to the question first and then reply. So you should wait for the interview to even complete the question and then you should answer. All right, that's pretty much for this video. I hope you liked the video and if you did, just make sure you hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Like why not? I'll see you in my next video. Till then, bye.